Here are the best things you can do in London. We start off with the British Museum. This is a free museum in central London that is dedicated to human history. One of the most famous artifacts here is the Rosetta Stone. You can easily spend a lot of time here and get lost learning about so many new things. Next, we'll head to nearby King's Cross Station. You can get your photo taken heading into the platform and you can also walk around the Harry Potter store right beside to get some cool merch. One New Change Mall has an amazing rooftop view of London and also St. Paul's Cathedral. There's a restaurant at the top of the mall too and some really great food options here. Fish and Chips is an absolute must here. The portions are always really big and the fish is always done right. Some of the best places are the Plough and Friars Delight. The most popular bridge to see in London is the Tower Bridge. You can also go on the walkway up top to get a view of London. The British Library is home to so many cool artifacts like Leonardo da Vinci's drawings, Beatles songbooks, and the Shakespeare's old plays. One of the coolest bars to go out at night to is Flight Club. You have a chance to play a bunch of different mini games with darts like snakes and ladders. Bounce is another cool bar in London where you can play ping pong while grabbing a few drinks. This one is more popular so I would recommend making a reservation. Borough Market is one of the coolest markets in London. There's a large selection of food you can get either for now or later and the food is definitely worth trying. You can go up to Sky Garden for free and have a really great view of London. This is a garden at the top of a building with a restaurant and a bar. You can also take a red bus around London, which is the most popular way to get around. You need an Oyster card or credit card for using the bus because it makes getting on the bus half the price of using cash. The National Gallery is another free museum in London. There are many famous paintings in this gallery and you can walk around it for a while and enjoy. Big Ben is arguably London's most popular landmark. It's recently renovated and it looks really nice up close with all the little details on it. Right beside Big Ben is the London Eye. It's another famous landmark that's a big ferris wheel and costs 36 pounds per person. Leicester Square is a popular square filled with street performers, cool stores, and some casinos as well. Nearby is Covent Garden. This area is also known for street performers, and there's also a market in the square. Millennium Bridge is another cool bridge in London. It's known from the one scene in Harry Potter, and it has really great views and picture spots of St. Paul's Cathedral, which is the next spot. It was designed based on St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. It looks really nice from any spot around the city as well. Trafalgar Square has really great views of Big Ben and it was designed to commemorate the British victory in the Battle of Trafalgar. Going to a tea shop is another must in London. This one is on Piccadilly Street and it has a large collection of teas all around the store. Nearby is Piccadilly Circus. It's a big circle connecting many of London's popular streets and it's filled with a bunch of billboards and ads all around the square. Biking around London is a great way to get across the city. This whole city is bikeable and filled with bike lanes. Just make sure to remember to bike on the left side of the road. The Tower of London is not so much a tower anymore, but is still home to the British crown jewels. Near the tower is the London Wall. This wall was built by the Roman Empire to protect their town of Londinium in the year 200. Leadenhall Market is a really nice market in central London, and it looks like the famous mall in Milan. Buckingham Palace is the home of the Queen. You can come here for around 11 o'clock each day for changing of the guards, but just remember that it gets really packed around this time. London is known for its pubs and bars, and going out for drinks while watching a game is really popular here. There's no better place to go out than Soho. This place is packed every night with people filling up every bar and club in the area. Westminster Abbey is a church where the royal family has its weddings, and you can go inside to see it. St. Catherine's Docks is a chill area near the Tower Bridge with some really nice restaurants and it has a lot of old style architecture. You have to have an English breakfast in London. It comes with eggs, beans, some sausages, tomatoes, mushrooms, and a few other things. And it was invented so people could show off their quality of food. Make sure to get an English breakfast tea as well. Mayfair and Paddington are the bougie areas of London. There are a lot of rich stores here and the buildings look really nice as well. Greenwich is a nice quiet area in London. It's also home to the Royal Observatory where the Prime Meridian is located. Hyde Park is a large park in central London and a great place to spend a few hours. It was also the private hunting ground of Henry VIII. Kensington Palace is also located in Hyde Park. The Monument to the Fire of London is a monument in central London dedicated to the Fire of London. You can go on top of this monument and get amazing views of the city. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Comment any spots that I may have missed and I'll see you again in the next one.